بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم شیر محمد ازہرا دی کورس کوارڈینیٹر دی پروگرام کوارڈینیٹر آف دی بی ایس این پروگرام ان دی کالیج آف نرسنگ پیمز اسلام آباد اور آئی ایم آلسو دی کورس کوارڈینیٹر آف دی انارٹمی این فیزیالو اوکے ان دی لیکچر نمبر سیشن ٹو وی ہیو وی لارنٹ آباؤر دی اسکل اور دیفرنٹ پارٹس آف دی دیفرنٹ پارٹس آف دی اسکل اور وات آر دی different bones which is uh, take the parts in the formation of the cranium cavity today we go uh, in the, this lecture in the lecture number three we will go to learn more about the different type of the feature and the process and the fossa and the foramen which is are present in the skull let's start in the in the and the from here in the occipital if you see at the back side of the occipital it's a is a protuberant over here and this protuberant is called the occipital protuberant in the occipital to protuberant we have the two type of the line over here one is the superior and greater line and the second one is a lesser and inferior line this is called the superior notchal line this one this one is called the superior notchal line and this one is called the inferior notchal line okay now come up on the uh, on the lateral side of the uh, occipital the the sutures which is present between the uh, occipital bones and the parietal bone this is called the lumbar sutures and the sutures which is present between the uh, mastoid portion of the temporal bone this is the mastoid process of the temporal bone and this is the occipital the sutures which are present between the mastoid process of the temporal bone and the occipital this is called the uh, occipito lumb occipito mastoid sutures now let's see in the uh, where the the occipital bone and the mastoid process of the temporal bone are united with each other it is a become a triangle shape of the trigon shape of the bone is present here and this bone is called the warmian sutures bone the warmian sutures bone this bone the part of the smallest bone is a uh, made up by the uh, by the sutures between the sutures just as come of the uh, front side of the uh, this is a temporal bone on the lateral side of the uh, skull the temporal bone is again is a uh, four uh, part this the flat portion the flat portion of this temporal bone is called the squamous portion and the sutures which is present between the squamous portion of the temporal bone and the uh, parietal bone this is called the squamous sutures and the the sutures which is present between the squamous portion uh, of the temporal bone and the sphenoid bone this is called the squamoso squamoso sphenoid sutures now you see in the back side of the squamous the flat portion of the temporal bone the back side is a is a process over here and this process is called the mastoid process this this one it is called the mastoid process and just over the mast behind of the mastoid process is a spongy portion is here and inside of this spongy portion is the uh, uh, mastoid uh, sinuses over here just if you see at the just at the interior interior superior of the mastoid process is a is a matrix over here is a opening in here and uh, this is called the external uh, osteotic matus canal external osteotic matus canal means the air canal external air canal just just below of the this oxic this is the external uh, osteotic canal just below this one is a stoloid process is here this is called the stoloid process the stoloid process of the temporal bone in the stoloid process of the temporal bone the ligaments of the ahyoid bone is attached over here in the mastoid process sternocleido mastoid muscles are attached over here okay you see just Yeah, see over here just at the external matrix at the front of the external matrix and the in the temporal bone is a fossa is here is a temporal fossa 
is a temporal fossa it is the 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 condyle of the mandible bones are at, uh, will attach over here is attach over here to make the temporomandibular joint if you see uh, the temporal bone is a process over here and this process of the temporal bone which is will goes unite with the zygomatic bone so it is called the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the the process of this zygomatic bone which is goes the, on the back side will goes to attach with the process of the temporal bone this is called the zygoma this is called the uh, temporal process of the zygomatic bone now the the situation which is present between the zygomatic process and the temporal process this temporal process and zygomatic process this is called the temporal zygomatic situation now this this is the this is the zygomatic this is a temporal arch and this is the temporal temporal notch at the just or the below at the uh, we now will see at the base of the or the base of the skull in the inferior portion we have the different type of the features and different type of the foramens over here in the occipital just below the lesser notch lesser notch line is a greater foramen is here and this is foramen of the magnum from this foramen of magnum the spinal cord of the brain the spinal cord will be passed through from it okay just see at the front of the both side of the foramen magnum is c is a condyle hose over here this is a condylar process of the occipital this is the condylar process of the occipital this condyle will goes to attach with the axis or the cervical vertebra to make the formations to make the joints the pivotal joints of the skull with the neck just see at the just below just see here just below of the condyle is a foramen is here and this is called condylar foramen this one this is a called hypochondral foramen this one this is the condylar foramen and this is called the hypoglossal foramen this one is called the hypoglossal foramen here the apical nerve is passed through from it and this is this one is the condylar foramen now just at the lateral side just at at, at the lateral side of the condyle is a big foramen is here see this is a big foramen is here and this big foramen is called the jugular foramen and the jugular vein the jugular arteries will be passed from here just at the uh, front of the jugular foramen just at the front of the jugular foramen and other foramen is here and this is called the this is called the external carotid foramen this is a carotid foramen this one at the front of the uh, at the just at the interior side at the front of the uh, carotid foramen is another foramen is here this is called the foramen of the spinosum this is the spinosum foramen this one the spinosum foramen at just on the front of the spinosum foramen is other foramen which is oval in shape just see here is a oval in shape this is a oval foramen at just on the medial of the oval foramen on the medial side of the oval foramen the other foramen is here and this foramen is called the uh, foramen of the random foramen of the random foramen of the random just another foramen is here if you see this is the mastoid process and this is the stoloid process this is the mastoid process this is uh, stoloid process of the temporal bone this is the mastoid process of the temporal bone between of these and other foramen is here this is called the stylo mastoid foramen this foramen which is present between the mastoid process and the uh, mastoid process and the stoloid process of the temporal bone is the called the st stylo mastoid uh, mastoid foramen okay let's come up on the uh, on the middle portion of the uh, base uh, of the inferior side of the skull if you see here if you see here this is the hard palate 
this is the hard pellet in the if you see the hard pellet is the central line is here this is a situers this is called the central situers this one this one is called the central situers of the palatine bone and other situers is present here which is in the transverse way the the both hard palatine or the lower palatine is unite are joined with this palate this situer this is called the sagitt this is called the transverse situers this one this one is called the transverse situers and this foramen is over here be just behind of the incisor teeth this is called the incisor foramen ya palatine foramen okay now let's see if you are looking at the just at the back side of the nasal cavity just behind of the nasal cavity you are looking these are the two type of the process over here and this this is the the major portion of the the uh, the base of the skull is made by the sphenoid bone now this this the the wing like the process of the structure is uh, is is visualizing over here this is called the trigoid process this is called the trigoid process the outer one is called the lateral trigoid process and the, the middle one is called the medial trigoid process the lateral trigoid process and the medial trigoid process between these both trigoid process is a fossa here this is called the tonsillar fossa here the tonsils the tonsils are located or situated over here if you see this is a conchae this is the nasal conchae or the nasal the opening of the nasal cavity in the between of the nasal cavity is a septum is here if you are looking there is a septum is there this is the septum of the vomer bone this is a septum of the vomer bone and these are the notch is a nasopharyngeal notch this one of the on the between the vomer bone between the vomer bone and the lesser trigoid process is a nasopharyngeal nasopharyngeal notch okay okay if we uh, come off on the let's see in the front this is the frontal bone uh, this is a one one frontal bone which is the at the front side the the half of the frontal bone is a made of the uh, the skull the two third and one third is formulate the facial structure of the forehead in the frontal bone as uh, upper the frontal bone is a slightly is a depression is there this depression is called the glabella and in the frontal bone just above of the eye orbit is a depression is over here this is called the glabella if in the frontal bone this frontal bone is make the upper border is make the upper border of the eye orbit this the upper border of the eye orbit this is called the orbit ridge up superior orbit uh, orbit ridge if you see at the superior border of the eye ball is a foramen is here this is called the supra orbital foramen just of the below of the inferior border the inferior border of the of the eye ball is another foramen this is called the infra infra orbital foramen inferior orbital foramen the the eye orbit how it is made up the eye orbit the superior border the superior border of the eye orbit is made up by the frontal bone and the lateral border and the lateral border of the eye orbit is made up by the zygomatic bone the mostly of the lateral side of the eye orbit is made up by the zygomatic bone the inferior border the inferior border is a made up by the the inferior border of the eye orbit is made up by the zygomatic bone or the maxillary bone and the medial border the medial and superior border is a made up by the ethmoid and lacrimal bone ethmoid and lacrimal bone and the posterior border of the eye orbit is made up by the sphenoid bone the sphenoid 
and the roof of the eye orbit is a made up by the frontal bone so it is all about the uh, the four uh, borders of the eye orbit if you see at the the back of the eye orbit is a foramen is here and this foramen this foramen which is you are looking at the posterior side of the eye orbit this foramen is called the optic foramen this is called the optic foramen the optic nerve the optic arteries and the optic vein is passed through from it just at the lateral side of the optic foramen you see is a fissure is here the fissure like the canal like the fissure like structures over here this is called the superior fissure superior optic fissure this is a superior optic fissure and this is the, in the lower one this is called the inferior optic fissure this is superior optic fissure this is the inferior optic fissure and see in the nasal cavity in the nasal cavity this nasal bridge is made up by the the nasal bone the the nasal bridge is made up by the uh, nasal bone and the nasal bone and the sun school of thought says the nasal bone is the hardest bone in the human body in the between of the nasal bone the nasal cavity you see is a septum is here is septum like structures are looking here this septum like structure which is divide the nasal cavity in the two portion this is called the vomer bone if you see in the lateral side of the vomer bone is uh, another bone are looking there this is are the two nasal conchi superior nasal conchi and inferior nasal conchi the two nasal conchi are present here at the just at the both side of the vomer bone this is called the superior nasal conchi and the inferior nasal conchi this nasal conchi superior nasal conchi is make up the conchi inside the nasal cavity which regulate the air and warm the air and humidi humidification of the air just before to enter in the respiratory system okay now this is the uh, we just to go to then now see in the in the inside from the uh, inside of the base of the uh, of the skull we have the different type of the fossas and the and the features are over here there are the th three types of the fossas uh, you are uh, looking uh, inside the in the base of the skull this is called the frontal fossa and this is one in the both side is ditch like structure this is called the medial fossa and in the back side where is the foramen is magnum is present this is called the occipital fossa this one occipital fossa the both side are the of the sphenoid bone is a ditch like structure this is called the medial fossa and this one is called the occipital fossa is the is the frontal uh, frontal fossa where the frontal fossa in the interior side the frontal fossa is the uh, frontal lobe is situated here in the middle one is the middle portion at the parietal and temporal uh, temporal portions of the brain are located or situated over here and the, this occipital fossa the occipital lobe the occipital lobe of the brain and the cerebellum are situated over here and the brain stem as well if you see look at the front and the frontal fossa is a crest like structure this is a crest like structure and this crest like structure this is a structure is the of the ethmoid bone which is united with, which is are joined with the frontal bone from the uh, superior portion of the nasal cavity so this this the crest like structure is called the cristagalia this portion is called the cristagalia at the both side of the cristagalia is a is a palate like structure or groove like structure this is called the cabriform this is called the cabriform palate inside of the cabriform palate you see the, the two opening are here and these two opening is called the olfactory 
foramen and the olfactory nerves are passed through from it. If you see here, this is the, uh, the middle portion. The middle portion of the base of the skull is majority is uh, made up by the sphenoid bone and the medial fo foramen is uh, made up by the sphenoid bone. If you see over here, this is a, a wing-like structure of the sphenoid bone. This wing-like of structure, which is a lesser in shape, you see, this is a lesser in shape, and this called the lesser wing. This is a lesser wing of the sphenoid bone, and the just below of the lesser wing in the medial fossa is a greater wing. This is called the greater wing, and this one is called the lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. Just at the base of the you see, uh, just at the base of the lesser wing is a foramen is here. And let's see, two type of the foramen are here. And this is foramen is called the optic foramen. The same one is the optic foramen, which is you are visualizing from the here. This one. Okay. Okay. Now see, in the in the middle one portions, here just below of this foramen is a fossa is here. And this fossa is called the hypophysial fossa. This called the hypophysial fossa. In this hypophysial fossa is called the is the uh, is the pituitary gland is located or situated over here or lying here the pituitary gland is lying here in the hypophysial fossa this whole the circular this upper condyle this uh, anterior condyle and the posterior condyle of the fossa the whole area is called the sila tarsica this portion is called the sila tarsica this portion is called the cilia tarsica now see the same foramen are looking here from the base of the skull. This is the oval foramen. This one, the oval foramen. And this is the carotid foramen. And this is the uh, foramen of the random. This is the foramen of magnum. And this is a jugular foramen. From which the jugular vein are passed through it. And this is the uh, hypoglossal hypoglossal canal hypoglossal foramen and this is the the bony projection the bony projection which is you are looking between the which is divide the uh, medial fossa and the occipital fossa this is the petrous process yet the petrous portion of the temporal bone and this is the uh, the one school of the thoughts of the anatomical say this this portion of the temporal bone is the dense highly dense portion of the bone inside the human body now this condyle the condyle of the mandible this is the mandible bone this is the mandible bone the mandible bone have the three portions. The one portion is called the, that the portion is a superior uh, uh, portion. This is called the uh, ramus. This portion, the broader one is called the ramus. And this is, this portion is called the body of the mandible. And the broader portion is called the ramus. And we have the two condyle of the, uh, this is the condylar process of the mandible which is goes to unite with the temporal fossa of the temporal bone to make the temporal mandibular joint and this is called the kiricoid process this is the kiricoid process of the mandible bone and this is a notch over here this is called the mandibular notch this one is called the mandibular and this broader portion of the mandible is called the ramus and this is the these are angle over here between the body and the ramus is the angle is here this is called the mandible angle and this is the body of the foramen and the foramen over here this is the portion is called the 
mandibular body band body of the mandible in the body of the mandible at the front side is a foramen is here and this foramen is called the mental foramen this foramen is called the mental foramen and the mental foramen you see in the lower jaw is a groove over here and this is called the tooth grooves in the face if you see this this bone this is a bone which is have the three process the one process is called the frontal process this is called the zygomatic bone and the zygomatic bone is called the cheek bone the the cheek bone the, the zygomatic bone have the three process the superior process which is will goes to unite with the uh, frontal bone this is called the frontal process and the frontal process with the frontal bone make the zygomatic frontal zygomatic uh, fronto zygomatic sutures and the in the posterior side of the zygomatic bone and other process is here and this process is called the temporal process because the portion of the zygomatic bone this process will goes to unite with the zygomatic process of the temporal bone now in the in the interior side in the interior and medial side in the interior and medial side of the zygomatic bone is other process this is called the maxillary process because this process will goes to make the joints with the maxillary bone okay. this bone just below of the just below of the cheekbone just below of the cheekbone on the lateral side of the nasal cavity and this is called the maxillary bone and the maxillary bone mostly make the uh, the upper jaw and the upper jaw the maxillary bone you see is a groove over here and these grooves are called the alveolar grooves these grooves are called the alveolar grooves and the process are called the alveolar process and that the, it is a socket is here this is a tooth socket in which the tooth different type of the tooth the incisor the canine the premolar and molars are attached over here and these the the teeth which is attached on the the upper jaw and the lower jaw and the maxillary bone and the mandible bone they make the ball and socket joint and the ball and socket joint is a type of the fibrous connective tissue fibrous connective tissue joint and the fibrous connective tissue joints are the immovable joint is a type of the immovable joint i hope uh, this is all about the the main features uh, we learned about the uh, anatomy of the whole of the skulls and the the cranium portions the 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 cranium uh, bones which is make the cranial cavity uh, which is make the first portion of the cranium is called the uh, neurocranium portions and neurocranium portions of the of the skulls uh, mostly made up, made up by the flat bone and this is this this is a consist of the eight bone this is a make up of the assist uh, eight bone the frontal bone the parietal bone occipital bone temporal bone and esphenoid bone and ethmoid bone and the uh, uh, esphenoid bone uh, ethmoid bone and the frontal bone parietal bone occipital bone so and the the other portion of we learned the, the other portion of the skull is called the visceral the visceral is make the base of the skull the base of the skull the cranial uh, the cranio uh, the neurocranium portion of the uh, skull mostly uh, give the coverage and make the uh, cranial cavity and give the house or a uh, place or a house and the place for the brain now in the in the visceral cranium portions the mostly is the portion of the skull is a made, made up by the visceral cranium portion in the visceral cranium portion is a made up by the uh, 14 irregular uh, bones the mostly are made up by the uh, by the facial bones 
in which the the oral cavity nasal cavity uh, eye orbit and the ears and then the uh, the uh, lower jaw is present inside the uh, visceral cranium cavity i have i hope you have learned uh, a lot from the today's session about the skull if you have any type of the queries or the any questions you can email me yeah you can uh, comments in the in my inbox of my youtube channel then i will reply it thank you